Welcome to Beer Camp, guys. This is Josh with thebrewpreneur.com, and I hope you're having a great day today. We're on day eight of Beer Camp. We've taken uh, seven days looking at some of the amazing brews here in the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp Across the World Collab Pack, and we're going to keep it going today. Uh, day eight, we have the West Coast Style Double IPA. Uh, IPAs are some of my personal favorites. Kind of thankful that these lasted till the end. I've uh, been looking forward to these. This is the West Coast Style Double IPA. It's a collaboration between Sierra Nevada and Boneyard Beer out of Oregon. So uh, we have one of our stateside collabs here, expecting a very hoppy IPA here for sure. Uh, West Coast Style IPAs are known um, nationwide, really worldwide, uh, for their extreme hoppiness. Um, lots of great hop flavors, whether it be citrus, uh, tropical fruit, um, spiciness, floral, just lots of great hop varieties and, and hop um, masterpieces, I should say. So uh, really looking forward to this, the West Coast Style Double IPA here um, for, from Boneyard in Sierra Nevada. Really looking forward to it. Pour it out here. Good gracious, I spilled a little bit. That's a sad day. Beer camp fail for sure. Good gracious. All right, so uh, we have our beer here poured out. Got a beautiful golden color there. Um, not much haze. Um, some of these IPAs are hazy, some aren't. You know, it just kind of depends on what the brewery wants to do. So I'd say translucent, uh, maybe just a little bit of haze there. A um, little bit of a white head. I mean, pretty pretty straightforward, what you would expect from a, from an IPA, just being that golden color there. Let's see what we got on the nose here. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Lots of great, uh, lots of great aromas there. Something I'm really getting is uh, citrus and tropical fruit um, aromas. Uh, I think, you know, lemon, lime, uh, mango, uh, papaya, um, some of these, these tropical type fruits. And all that's coming through from those hops, just various hop varieties that they used uh, produce those, those types of smells. Incredible aroma here. Not much of a, not much malt here. Um, not very much sweetness at all. Those hops are there for a reason. West Coast style is known for that. They want to highlight uh, the hoppiness. So that's that's what this is on the nose, and it's, it's, it smells amazing. I wish uh, we had smell of vision on on the camera here. So let's see what it's like. Cheers. Excellent IPA. Excellent IPA. I should say double IPA. Turn the can around for you. Um, again, not much, uh, not much malt there at all. If anything, uh, very subtle. You know, using some light and pale malts. Um, they don't uh, in these types of brews. They really don't want to highlight much malt at all. Again, it's it's mainly to to really put those hops up on a pedestal, so to speak. So uh, very subtle uh, as far as the malts go. And just just a great great hoppy flavor here. I'm getting some of those citrus hops. Um, I even say maybe even some floral and spicy varieties in there too. Um, there's a little bit of a spiciness on the back end of 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 that taste. Um, the 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 beer has a, a very nice dryness um, that that accompanies the taste once once you. Once you finish that sip, um, there's a little bit of a dryness in the back of your throat that makes you makes you want some more, um, just because there's some great flavors in here. Um, it's uh, standard bitter, or uh, I shouldn't say standard bitterness, but there's a pronounced bitterness for the double IPA. Uh, but it's pleasant because you're you know you've got the bitterness, but you've you've got that accompanying um, great hoppy flavor in, in the, the citrus notes and the tropical notes and, and even some of the spiciness in there. So this, this is great. Um, very straightforward double IPA, uh, great collab between Sierra Nevada and Boneyard. Um, I really like the variety of hops in here and some of the citrus and, and tropical fruit, and then even the spiciness. I think it's, it's, uh, it, 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 it rounds off the beer very well. Very refreshing, um, medium to light, uh, light to medium mouthfeel. You kind of feel some of the, the, a little bit of the heaviness, being that it's a double IPA. 
But uh, definitely, easy. I, I think it's easy to drink. Uh, but then again, I'm, I'm a little biased being an IPA fan. Uh, I reach for this one again. Uh, again, a very great double IPA. If you have tried this uh, West Coast style double IPA from Sierra Nevada and Boneyard, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think as far as how it ranks with some of your other favorite double IPAs. Um, there's a lot of them out on the market now. There's a lot of great breweries doing some amazing things with some of their upper level IPAs. Uh, but this was excellent. Very well done. Uh, great, great day for uh, Beer Camp 8. Great beer. And I uh, hope you all have a great day and cheers.